Welcome to day two of Dare to Be Courageous, the video challenge. Today, we are dealing with the question or, yeah, the question, what do I talk about, Dorothy Inez? I don't have anything to talk about. That's what I hear all the time. And guess what? I used to say it too. I used to say, I don't have anything to talk about. And the truth is, you actually do have tons of stuff to talk about. And you just got to be creative. You just got to be creative. So today, let me get this off of my screen. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about how, oh, you can't hear me. Okay. Can you hear me now? Hold on. You can hear me? Okay, awesome. You had me scared for a minute. Okay, let me bring this mic. Jason, look what I'm talking on. This big professional mic. Yes, that's how we, that's how we do it. <laughs> so... Welcome, Jason, and whoever. Who's the other person that's with me live? Put your name in the comments so I know that you're here. Let me know that you're here. So let's see. Hey, Cheryl Deanne, thank you so much. I'm so glad. Thank you, Jason, for letting me know you couldn't hear me. Um, so today we're going to be looking at, hey, Penny. Oh, oh. Jason said he got one too. Yeah, this is how we, we got to do it like this, Jason. If you want to be a speaker, you got to start doing stuff like this, getting the big mic, okay? So, um, hi, Penny. I see you, sister. So, today we're going to be addressing how to come up with content. And the these things I'm teaching you today are going to be things that um, content you can actually use just in regular posts too. And you know, and when you work with me, we work together, we actually get deeper into this stuff inside of my program. So I'm just going to give you a few juicy tips to actually, I'm actually really generous. I'm giving you 10 tips today. So you want to make sure you'll you to stick around and get my 10 tips today. So let's dive right in. So, you know, I can tend to be a little long winded because I get excited. So let's just dive right in. So what do people want from your post? If you're looking to get engagement and get people commenting on your posts and your videos, you want to give them content that shares uh, information. And one thing I want to say is I know like most of us are business owners and um, many of us, me included, don't like posting on our business page because we don't get a lot of interaction. But let me tell you, when you do video, when you do video, I highly recommend, hi Vicky, I see you girlfriend, when I highly recommend when you do video that you do video on your business page and share it over to your personal page. And here's why. When you do video on your business page, it becomes searchable. It shows up in the Google searches. So this is really important. So be sure that you do it over there. Also, you can upload, you can kind of categorize your videos over there as well. Um, on the back end, those are things, again, those are things you have to get into my class for, for the details on that. But broadcast video from your business page and share it over to your personal page. Now, something you can do to automatically share it over to your business, I mean, to your personal page is one, you can use Live Leap, which is an app, Live Leap. It's a service, it's $20 a month, which automatically syndicates your content and automatically shares it when you go live. 
Um, the other thing to that is you can um, go live and share right from your phone if you're broadcasting from your, your desktop like I am and share it over. So um, that's just something I want to mention. So you want to share information. People love good content. So content that people are interested in is what people want to see. They want to see you be entertaining. I mean, how many of you take these videos where people are just acting a fool and share them with other people and they become viral? So people want you to entertain them. And this next one, I haven't mastered this one. I, I, I have, I'm going to be honest, I'm a little scared of this one. But people want you to be controversial. When stuff is controversial, don't you know, like, boom, your Facebook blows up. So people want to be entertained and they love controversy. I don't know why, but they love controversy. And number three, People want to connect with you. People want to know who you are. You know, like I hate when people come into groups and they just start selling, selling. And who are you? And in this virtual world, people want to know who you are. What's your character like? Are you showing up consistently? These are the types of things that build that know, like, and trust factor. Okay. So share information. You want to be entertaining and you want to be, be a little controversial. Say some things that kind of get people's, you know, go, you know, get them upset, you know, get them passionate to interact and, and, and in a positive way. We don't want to have, you know, you don't want people being negative, but it's okay to have, you know, uh, differing opinions. Okay. If they start being negative, tripping, get them off your page, get them off your page. Okay. And then connect, let people see who you are. Okay. What are you up to? Okay. We don't, people want to connect people by yes. Get people rattled. Yes, yes, yes. Vicky knows what I'm talking about. Get people rattled. It's fun. It's fun. They enjoy it. So now, now that we know what people want, how do we come up with this stuff, right? So some of the tips, and I'm going to tell you, if I didn't tell you, if you need to, have your notes. I had so much juiciness, I had to write it down. But the thing you don't want to do is sit here and do this. Yeah, and da 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 No, you want to glance down at your notes and keep looking into this hole right there so that you're giving your people, your viewers, eye contact. I know. It, it, yeah, I know. I, it, it's one of my pet peeves too. So how to come up with content. Number one is be yourself. Share who you are. You are your biggest source of content. Share who you are um, with your with your audience. Let them let them in. Let them in. Think about what your, when it comes to business, think about what your ideal client is struggling with. What are some of the things that you've heard? Okay, somebody keeps messing me. What are some of the things that you've heard people struggling with? So for instance, I like to know how the person posts. Let me see. I like how the person's posts pop up that you like to have repeated. That Are you talking about these posts, how I just put your posts up here? This is Be Live TV. Be Live, because I'm live. Be Live TV. Um, be Live dot TV. Yes, be authentic. Be yourself. Exactly, Cheryl. Um, so one of the things that I did when I went to, so when you're at networking events, you're at presentations where that you go to, that is the perfect place for you to, to find out information from your ideal client. 
So when I went to, um, what's this event? I went to this event called Revenue Rev Up with um, Adam Urbanski and Penny was there with me. And women started getting up to the microphone talking about what they were struggling with around video. What happened in that moment is I started taking notes and instantly in that, I came up with 21 awesome topics about video being visible all from listening listening that's another point on here is listen listen to your to your ideal clients what are they saying they are giving you information all the time so have i carry notebooks use your iphone i'm already like i'm giving you guys tips all out of order but who cares um so Use the notes app in your iPhone and have just one one document that when topics come up, you're listening to a sermon. Boom. Something hits you and insight comes. Boom. There's a topic. OK, so always be listening, listening to what, what what's hitting you. That's how you come in. What's hitting you? Because typically. We are our own ideal client. So what's turning you on? What's getting you excited is most likely going to get your ideal clients excited. But always be listening. What magazines are your clients um, reading? What magazines? Mine love to read Oprah, you know, Red Book. Go and see, look through those magazines and find out what are those topics that they're talking about in there. And get this, let me let you in on a secret. Are you listening? Are you listening? Everything doesn't have to be about business. Doesn't have to be about business. OK, people get sick of us always talking about business. How about it's just something that impacts their life, something that touches their heart, maybe something that like, again, I can't express you had an insight and you wanted to share it with them. OK, everything doesn't have to be business and especially on your personal page because it is what a personal page. Okay. It's a personal page for a reason. You guys are saying some juicy stuff. Okay. Sheila's giving me, listen, I like those big ears, girl. I like those. Avia says I've lost count on the amount of time content has been dropped in my soul by simply listening. Yes, girl. Yes. And then Vicky says, yep, that's true. There's other topics to discuss other than business. Yes, absolutely. People, I'm telling you, when people fall in love with you, they want to work with you because they trust you. They've, they're, they're getting a peek inside of your world, your life. Look at the blogs that people are writing that are in your industry. What are your women reading and get inspiration? I actually, in my uh, computer here, I have a file of inspiration. And when I come across blogs and things like that, that I, I think my women and now my two guys might be interested in, I put it in the file and I come back to it and I'm inspired to do a video. I'm inspired to do a blog. I'm inspired to do a post. Are you seeing a trend here? You seeing how you can take these inspirations and create content on all of your platforms. Think of stories. Think of stories that you can share. You know, sometimes you're outside in nature and you happen to notice something, um, how a plant, like I, I think I did came on and I did a story about how this, this plant that I had and I had let it die and I thought it was gonna, I was gonna throw it in the trash, but then I decided to water it and how it became, you know, started becoming green and coming back to life. And then I related that something I witnessed in nature, I related that to personal growth and how that happens in our life, how there's things, dreams inside of us that we think are dead, 
But when we begin to water that dream by being around the right people, being in the right places and spaces, it begins to come alive again like that plant. Do you see how I did that? All from just being outside. So sharing, that's how you come up with content. And you know what? And you don't have to wait. You know, you don't have to wait. Oh, girl, I don't have my makeup done. I don't have this or... Just do it, sisters and brothers. Just do it right in the now moment. That's the beauty of Facebook Live. Next, give them behind the scenes look. So if you're like preparing for an event or you're at an event, why not share and let people see what's going down? Vicki says, I get inspired all the time with just conversations that I have with people or I read something that sparks an idea for a video or a post that I can create. Absolutely. You know, like one of the things that um, I do is, where's my book? I'm always coming on and just reading. I have about four of these from Ava Bell Werber. And I will, sometimes I just come on here because I'm like, this was so juicy. I just want to come and read this to you. If you feel like reading a Dr. Seuss book to your people, read a Dr. Seuss book. People, you know, it's just being you because maybe in reading that Dr. Seuss book, something clicked in your mind and you can apply it as a life lesson because when you help other people grow and you sow seed into their life, they become so connected. Are you seeing a theme here? It's about connecting. It's not about selling, coming on here. And every time we look around, you're trying to sell your direct sales marketing uh, product and, and push that on me, or you're trying to push your latest program. You know, yes, you need to be selling. Yes, you need to be seeding your product, but that doesn't have to be what I'm going to hear every time you show up. Okay. That's called attraction marketing. The next thing is make a list of topics. Make a list of topics. So if you go back and you look at, you know, these things here, share information. Go back for those of you, you know, that have, you know, built out your, your business. Um, you have, well, hopefully you have pillars, things that are key parts of your business. Go back and look at what kind of videos can I create on this portion of my business, this portion of my business. So like, um, parts of my, two parts of my business are beauty and visibility. So when I look at the things that I talk about, um, in my programs around beauty and visibility, I can go in and I look at that and I go, oh, I can make a video on this or I can make a video on that or write a blog on this or that. So looking at where you can create content around information, what kind of entertainment can you can you bring forth that shows people who you are, that makes them laugh? Do you have a funny story? Do you have a joke of the day? How can you entertain people and controversy you just find that every day just go to cnn fox news you'll find plenty of that connection how can you connect think of ways and just come up with ways that you can do these things and put it in your notebook how about you interview people how about that is that you know say you just happen to be in a room like one of my clients she's out at the fashion show um, she's out shopping for clothes and laura she pulled somebody aside who has this innovative way of creating clothing out of plastic bottles, recycled plastic bottles, and she did a video on it. How about you're talking to a friend and you and your girl are having great conversation. You're like, you know what? This is good. Let's do a live. Me and Laura do that too. I'm like, girl, let's do a live on this. So Get creative, get out of the box, quit worrying about what other people think. Is this going to be, per who gives a crap? Just do you, okay? Just do you. Next, share yourself having some fun. Share yourself having some fun, okay? Are you out? Are you on a hike? Are you seeing some beautiful flowers? Are you seeing a, some beautiful ducks? Whatever. Share, 
share some some yourself having fun are you cooking you know do you feel like coming on and teaching your favorite taco recipe i should do that because i love tacos love tacos i should do that um share 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 okay and then number 10 this to me is the best way to get content. If, if all these ideas I've given you and you're still like, during the Inez, what do I talk about? Here's the best way. Here's the best way. Um, oh, De uh, Cheryl Deanne, tell me what you're talking about. Wow, that is something I wanted to explore this year. What is it? What did you want to explore? Tell me. So number 10, this is, this is profound. Are you ready? Are you listening? Number 10, and it's really number one, is to tap into the divine, to sit in silence and ask the one, the great creator of all of creation, what you should talk about. How about that? How about you just go in silence Shut your trap, stop, you, stop your mind from thinking, and just ask God, the one who gave you this mission, this purpose. Do you not think that he knows what you should talk about? And, have, and let me tell you, if you go in with the intention that you're going to get something, you come ready Brother, sister, with your notepad, listen in, and you'd be like, oh my God, this is so juicy. And stuff will start coming. Learn to listen to that still, small voice. Be still and know. Be still and know that he is God, that that's who will give you everything you need to show up and shine. Let me see some of this juiciness you all are putting here. Let's see. Vicky says, Vicky, you're on a roll today, girl. Bing, bing. That's an idea. Cook your favorite meal on video. Yes, yes. Conversations on Facebook Live. Yes, yes, Cheryl. Do those, do those. Yes, how much fun. And Vicki says, I do that. I pray and ask God. Absolutely. Ask God who, you know, who should you talk to? What should you create today? Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent stuff. So good stuff. Have you all learned anything today? Any inspiration today? Tell me. Let me hear from you. What's up? Tomorrow... I'm going to teach you guys how to do things like this, like this. Have fun. Have fun with video. We are going to talk about this tomorrow. So, you know, and these are just what you all are experiencing. Do you see the, the energy that we have in this community? I am just on fire fire for you guys. I mean, your energy is fueling my energy. I mean, Vicky's like, I am on fire, you know, inspired. Yes. Sing and dance. Yes. You know, so my coach, Chenille, she had me, yeah, virtual dance party, right? You know, and it's like my my um, coach had because I used to be a dancer and my coach had me come on and dance in video. And Jason, I don't know if you saw it, but I danced to uh, Reverend Michael's uh, song, <laughs> you know, um, take a holy breath, take a breath right here. Take a holy breath. That's what I was dancing to, because I keep let me tell you. Don't play music on Facebook that isn't yours because you will get blocked. I swear they're after me. If they even get a hint of music, Dorothy Inez is blocked and I love music. It's killing me. But don't play anybody's music that you don't have permission to do. Go to, um, go to, uh, what is it called? Um, 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 
I, I will find you the website and I will let you know. But you got to go to a website where the music, what is it called? Somebody tell me, what is it called when you don't have to own the rights to the music? She says, I have an idea for, oh, yes, girl, Vicky, bring that Valentine's Day video tomorrow. Yes, yes. Oh, gosh. Yes. Um. Yeah, because I just recently got blocked. I just got off. I was in jail for four days for posting the video um, of my coach and my my dear friend who came to visit me. And I had Bruno Mars. And I thought that, that it was okay because it came from Flipagram. And I thought Flipagram had an agreement with Facebook. No, they didn't. So be careful with music. You will be put in jail. So have fun with video. Let your light shine, ladies and gentlemen. Let people see you. You don't always need to be sitting at a desk looking all gloom, you know, gloomy and solemn and talking about your business. And if you are sitting at your desk, I want to see you moving. I want to see you some excitement because if I come and I'm scrolling through um, the feed, and all I see is this and a moving, a talking head. I'm going to keep going. Yes. Yes, Jason. Yes. I want you to have fun. Shake your dreads. Shake them. Shake your locks. Shake them. Do something. Get wild. Let people see who you are. Okay. You were born to shine. Okay. Born to shine because your lights are so bright. I see each and every one of you. I'm so, so blessed by each of you that has shown up. Even those of you that haven't shown up, I'm blessed because many of you, and what I'm enjoying is that because I'm really clear about who I want to work with, I want to work with legendary leaders. If you think you're a legendary leader, I want you to look up my group, Legendary Leaders, okay? Sorry, Jason. Sorry, Brighton. This is for ladies only, but Legendary Leaders for my women, Check out my group. If you if you're a woman who's about hustling, wants to get her, herself, you know, together and also want, you have something to give to other people. This is not just oh come and take and let me feed off of Dorothy Inez and all of no. No, you have to bring something. So because of that, everybody's not accepted. But if you have something to offer and you want to be legendary in your lifetime, unforgettable Check out Legendary Leaders. And again, if you want to grow, if you're loving what you're seeing here, I want to invite you to not miss Friday because I'm going to share with you how you can go deeper with video and confidence. Because this whole video thing, this is just something, it's a tool. But the deeper thing around video is helping you to be a confident woman, a confident man when it comes to speaking your truth, when it comes to sharing your message, and when it comes to being who you truly are. Are You will walk away transformed, not just around video, but around who you are in God. And that is what I am called to do. Video, it, it, shoot, next week it might be something else and it's not video. So this is just a tool to help you show up and shine. Let me see. Yes, Legendary Leaders, that's the group. I know, Jason. Don't cry. You get to see me tonight, though. You get to see me in person. Yay. Can you save me a seat? I'm probably going to be late. I want to sit next to you tonight. Can you save me a seat, Brother Jason? Jason and I are in a amazing prayer class together, and he's just been an awesome brother. We hit it off from day one. And it is... Um, Let's see. Avia says, no, you have to write. I don't own the. You know what? That doesn't work for me. That doesn't work for me, Avia. They still block me. I said no. They asked me, do I own the rights? I said no. They still blocked me. Uh, yes. Legendary leaders. Yes. Let me make sure I'm not. Yes. 
Thank you so much for this fire. Yes, I'm glad you got the fire, brother. Okay, so if there's anything else you all need from me, let me know. Now, let me see if I can give the homework clearer today. Yesterday, there was so much confusion. My apologies. Forgive me. So much confusion. So the homework for today, and what I mean by today is, let me explain today. So today means you can do the homework today, or you can do the homework before we, you know, before tomorrow. So that's what I mean. It's due by tomorrow. So that's what I mean. Jason, get a wig and a... <laughs> that's too funny. That's too funny. I love it. I got to put that up, Avia. Um, Jason, if you want to be a legendary leader, basically you got to come in drag. Okay. <laughs> a wig and a skirt. Oh my goodness. Yes, that is too. Now, Jason would, oh my God. Uh, Jason, he would be like a six foot seven drag queen. That would be too hilarious. I'm loving you all today. Thank you so much for the energy. So homework, 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 because I know you got to go. Homework is to do a non-work related video, a non-work related video that shares your personality, you doing something fun, something crazy. Yes, do your best RuPaul, yes. <laughs> yes, I can do your makeup. <laughs> I'm good at drag makeup. Um, I was trained by drag queens. So anyways, um, so, do a video showing you doing something fun. So, Avia, if you want to dance and sing, let's, girl, do it. Do it. Do it. And do something that's uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. If you do something that's comfortable, I hate to tell you, you're not going to grow. You're not going to grow. But if there's something that you like, man, I sure would love to do this. But man, I'm scared. I'm worrying about being judged. Well, guess what? This is a safe space. We have 40 amazing people here who are simply here to support you. And let me tell you, I don't know if you all saw the video from Selena earlier today, but Selena had been sitting back watching and she said, I went through different videos and she saw some of you in spite of your fear showing up. And let me tell you, when you do something in spite of fear, you give another woman, another man permission to do the same, okay? You inspire other people. So if you want to dance and you're afraid, do it. If you want to share your voice, I remember doing this. I did this too. I used to be afraid to share my voice because all my life, my family would say, oh, your voice is ugly. I'm like, really? I made state choir, but okay, yeah, my voice is ugly. And I began to believe it. But then I decided I wanted to share my voice. I love, love, love to sing. I love music more than anything. And one day I got on here and I sang. I sang Somewhere Over the Rainbow. You know, my favorite song from The Wizard of Oz, you know, Dorothy. But don't call me Dorothy. Some of you are still calling me Dorothy. Don't call me Dorothy, please. It's Dorothy Inez, please, please. So that's your assignment to do a non-work related video that shares your personality and you must stretch, stretch yourself. Uh-oh, Avia, get it, girl, get it, girl. Get. See, I just finished seeing Avia, and Avia is sitting at home in the UK in her luxurious robe with stars on it, you know, just being all glamorous as she actually is. Yeah, I love it, love it, love it. So, okay, great. I love you all so very much, and thank you for giving your 100%, for participating in spite of your fears. And so it, you really, really inspire me. And I cannot wait to see your videos. Um, um, 
Yeah, I cannot wait to see your videos. So keep shining. Um, and tomorrow, what's tomorrow? Crap. Oh, I turned the page. Tomorrow is about, oh, let me tell you because you're going to want to be here because every day has just been so, I mean, these are, this is my best challenge. And you know why it's my best challenge? It's because of you. It's not because of me. It's because of you. You showed up. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah. And this is going to be a good one because it's Valentine's Day. So I might give you girls some tips to look good. It is looking good on camera, looking good on camera. So we're going to be talking about that tomorrow. Jason, this is for you too looking good on camera. So this is important. And remember, if I give you feedback on your videos, I expect you to use it or you lose it. All right. Love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah.